I'm Mike Dennis. I'm Chief Executive at uh, Caribia Health. And uh, we are a company that is looking to uh, make an impact on uh, the research activity uh, directed towards mental health and dementias. I'm David Newton. I'm the Chief Operating Officer and one of the founders for Crivia Health. We're a technology company, work specifically in data science, so we develop a software platform that takes clinical records, um, de-identifies those clinical records, so essentially removes all the patient identifiers and makes them and curates them and makes them available for research. And with more and more data, we can then really begin to pinpoint in about what treatments potentially will work for what patients and even to the extent of identifying potential new treatments um, that might work for patients based on the data we have and using that to characterise disease. We're very much aiming to disrupt the traditional way that research is carried out here in the UK and globally. We applied to the GBIT Precision Medicine programme in China about two years ago and we were successful in that competition. We met Craig then. I'm Craig, I'm one of the Innovation and Growth Specialists at Innovate UK Edge. Speaking to a trivia sort of became very apparent that they had sort of a long journey ahead of them, but this was an exciting technology with lots and lots of different international applications. What we would do is we would basically have these uh, sprint workshops where we, uh, David would come to me, he would say what the areas of support that he needed help with are, and that might be something we could do, uh, I could do myself, it might be bringing in someone else from my team, or it might even be going out to say the Department for International Trade um, if it's something that actually their expertise was needed in. The benefit and impact of Craig's support has been to help really refine and focus thinking. Um, it's really helped to take a critical eye and take a second look as well about assessing these opportunities and getting Craig's feedback on things, specific items like the pitch deck. You know, is the shape and feel of it work? You know, does the message come across clearly? Is there a clear value proposition? Does the business case stack up to you? So those quite specific items and that targeted kind of feedback and second opinion has been very helpful. That focus on helping UK businesses uh, develop and thrive and contribute to uh, the UK economy and understanding the global arena in which that actually um, uh, manifests itself is uh, uh, just a joy. The development journey, both from a company but also in terms of what you see from David and, and Mike, uh, has been really quite impressive that they've taken it from effectively a, a two-person company um, in 2019. Uh, I think I started working with them when there were seven people, something like that. It's always been really nice to reflect on the fact that there was two of us sat in an office when we spun out. Um, and then two years later, there's 42 of us sat in an office about to launch the product that we imagined. I hope, not just for me, but for everyone who works within Acrivia Health, that it's the mission that attracted us to uh, this pathway, to this journey that we're on. That mission is to change the trajectory of research in mental health and dementias in a way that impacts patient lives. Businesses can really benefit from our support if they have a vision for where they want to go but aren't sure how to overcome the barriers that are in their place and we can support them either through coaching ourselves or through introductions to other parts of the business support ecosystem. And knowing that they're there to back us, to support us, to, uh, to, to share the goal of success. I think I would certainly recommend Craig and the, the advisory support we received other businesses, particularly in these first few years of operation. It's incredibly helpful. I don't think we would have moved as quickly and decisively as we have done.